Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Scarlet Shearwater, an unfortunately poorly known shearwater that is only known from subfossil remains. I hope you enjoy. Scarlet shearwaters are only known from subfossil bones collected from a few localities in northwest Nelson and the Bulla district, although even with these limited remains, they can still tell us a decent amount about these extinct birds. The age of the bones ranges from the last glacial maximum in the late Pleistocene to post-Polynesian settlement, and have been found to be in the Manx fluttering shearwater groups. DNA analysis showed that they formed a strongly supported monophyletic clade alongside two extant endemic New Zealand shearwater species, being the fluttering shearwater and Hutton shearwater, and from this, inferences about the scarlet shearwater can be made. Scarlet shearwaters were smaller than their relatives, weighing around 250 grams, with the wing proportions being more similar to that of the fluttering shearwater, and unlike the longer-winged Hutton shearwater, indicating the scarlet shearwaters were relatively sedentary, meaning that they were less capable of migration, and also gives a reason as to why they were swiftly wiped out after Polynesian arrival. Birds would have bred on cliff edges lining the Fox River adjacent to the Tiana Titi cave, as almost 10% of all bones found in the deposits are from chicks. Birds became extinct shortly after human settlement, as bird colonies may have been either directly overexploited by humans, or were assisted in their demise through the introduced Pacific rats. So for the scarlet shearwaters, their small size and accessible habitats, coupled with their relatively poor flying, unfortunately meant that they could not survive to the present day. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Australasian bittern, cryptic birds which are unfortunately steadily declining. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.